So you've been writing your posts now for some while on Google My Business, but what about special offers? Something that came about last year where Google has now given you the ability to make special offers to your customers. Well, don't write a special offer until you follow the whole of this video, because I'm going to reveal to you some really great tips that will make your offers stand out. And at the same time, some real gems that are going to show you how images can have quite an impact on your offers. So thanks for joining me today. Hi, I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and I help small businesses grow their local business. So if you've uh, perhaps visited me here for the first time, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Make sure you click the alert bell as well, and then you'll know when my next video appears. So let's just take this thought then, special offers. Now, Google in the past has just given us the ability to make some posts on Google My Business, but special offers gives you the opportunity to put a particular date, and um, posts only last for about seven days. But here you can have this special offer going for several months. You can choose the time it starts. You can choose a coupon code and how that works as well and integrates with your website so that you know what the offer is. And you can have your terms and conditions. And also I'm going to show you how images, not only can they be geotagged to help give some authority, but also look out for how you can brand your images to tell Google that you are an authority as a brand for your local business. So some real gems in this oh, video. Wow. So follow it all the way through and then you won't miss out. So let's first of all, jump on the computer and show you exactly how these special offers and these tricks are going to work for your business. So I've covered Google My Business posts uh, in detail recently, but what I'm going to do today is look a bit more in detail at the certain types of posts you can do. And particularly, this is going to be looking at your offers and some really useful little things we can do here to get you exposed and aware, be made aware of uh, from local businesses and able to offer uh, people some really good ways of uh, being found. So let's take a look at this then. There's a few ways you can get to it. You can click on posts, which is the most obvious way. You can also, uh, you've got your latest post, you can put see more, and you can also see other offers and what other businesses are doing as well. So as you add more posts, it could be that you're being shown on other people's businesses as well so it kind of it creates a, a backlog of, of information that uh, Google will show so if I click on see more it takes me to the same place as posts and on here you'll see that you've got add offer add update add event add product so in the past video we were looking at just updates like a news or a blog event but what we're going to look at now is how you can add an offer and some of the details, it comes with coupons, comes with valid dates and so on. So there's a lot more to this part. And there's a couple of little gems I'm going to reveal as well as we go along the way. So let's first of all then see how do we add an offer. So I can click on add offer and this now comes up and you literally just fill out the fields. But I'm going to show you how to do it so that you really capture people's attention. So that also you capture Google's attention and so that you get a lot more exposure with your particular type of offer. Uh, so I've got an offer where I'm going to be offering uh, some design and uh, I've got some code and I've got quite a few uh, images as well I'm going to use. So let's uh, take this one step at a time. So first of all, create your post, add photos or videos. So if I click on here, I can now select my uh, videos and my photos. So I've done a few already, but what I'm going to show you as well, which is important, is before I go any further, uh, we spoke in the past about geotagging. If you go to uh, this geo imgr.com tool, you'll see here that you can geotag your images as well. Now I've done a couple already, I'm just going to bring in one more. So you drag in an image here and you pick on the map where it is that you want this image to be. So this is my infographic um, image that I'm going to use and at the moment it's saying it has no existing geotags. Now this here is a case of I've geotagged it near where I'm based and I'm now going to write it to the image. And you notice there, photo is now tagged, and I can put some image description in here if I wanted. So I could put Bournemouth Web Design or something like that. But once I've now got this tagged, what I've done is I've basically told uh, Google uh, and anyone that uses or looks at this image that it's now based in this area. 
And that's important because Google wants to know that I'm a local web designer and then my images that I'm uploading to its uh, offers or its posts are also taken in this area. So if you take it on a camera, often it will geotag it for you. But often when it comes to say Photoshop and graphic design, you need to add this information. That's what we're doing here. Just adding some geotag information to this image. So I'm now going to download it and download this image. So Bournemouth Infographics, it's downloaded and click there. Now I've done that for a couple of others as well. And I'll, I'll show you why I've done this. If I go back to the post and I'm now going to save or drag across these particular ones. Let me drag across um, the ones that I've geotagged. So I've got um, three in particular. Let me just do one at a time. So drag this one first of all. So that now uploads to Google and at the same time it's geotagged and there we've got now my infographic there but you see it's a little bit cut off so sometimes it's good just to go in here just stretch this out a little bit and I'm just going to talk to you about a couple of things here so what I do is I, I'm doing an offer for infographics for local businesses so that's kind of the, the purpose of this um, infographics designed by Zanet Design okay now just a couple of things as well that I think are beginning to have a bit of traction in Google is Google can read information so as hard as it is to explain this um, but it, as you upload images to Google Google now will know that this is not only an infographic but it'll know about the fact that the words tell it infographic design by Zanet design why have I done that and why have I put my logo here well I'll tell you why because branding is also important and you'll see there's a video I've done recently that Google is monitoring branding so when people type into Google Zanet design and they find my website and they click on my website Google knows that um, so you imagine how many times people search for McDonald's Google knows that McDonald's branding works for McDonald's I want my branding to work for my company particularly on a local basis so writing Zanet design having the logo of Zanet design and having words associated with what I do which is I design those things are going to give Google the signals that that's what I do and once I know once Google knows what I do they'll then start to then view me as an authority so next time someone searches in my area for someone who can design infographics Google has already given me a bit more authority because of this image and that's why we're doing it so I'm going to upload that image and the other thing as well another new thing that's just come about in the last few weeks is you've now got the ability to add more images as well so I'm going to add a second and a third image which were the ones that uh, I've just geotagged as well so let's put this one in so another one again I'm going to use some information that Google will like so let's have a look at this one just make sure it's not cut off so we've got web design infographics by Zanet design similar thing and again a logo and again showing the types of designs that I can do so Again, this is to appeal to local customers that may want some infographics for their website or they may want to do a promotion or some type of training for their clients and so on. And let's do one more as well. So this is the one that we've just done where we geotagged it uh, earlier in this video. So this will now be uploaded too. And uh, let's just go across to that one. And uh, it looks like that one's gone over nicely. So that's fine. Um, that's great. So yeah, that, that kind of, I mean, I can pull it down a little bit but in effect there you go so again infographics and this time I'm using my location Bournemouth and this is again just to help Google know that I'm a genuine Bournemouth web designer so there you go so I've got an offer I've got some examples of the infographics I do I've got my logo on each one I've got the, the fact that it is infographics and I've got the fact that it's my company name this is all part of making a really important offer that Google will be aware of now what I'm going to do now is the offer title and what I'm doing I'm doing a spring offer um, for infographics if I can get my uh, keywords in there that'll be even better so I'm going to try this I'm not sure how much I can actually um, actually it's more to do with um, the offer itself so it's actually just a spring it's a spring offer that I've got so I'm just going to put this in here is it's I'm going to call it the spring infograph infographic doesn't like the spelling of that but that is the correct spelling I believe infographic graphic it's actually gonna be a free infographic that I'm doing actually so let's see if I can put in the word for it yeah so spring free infographic offer 
Now, if you want this to run for a certain time, which I do, I don't want this to go on all year, um, but I'm going to run it for two months. Um, so it is a spring offer. Uh, you can actually have the dates, uh, the, the, the start time, the end time as well. Um, so that might be if you're doing like a, um, a uh, say a Black Friday offer or something where you just want it to end over three dates and you want it to end at midnight. For me, it's literally from Mar March the 1st and I want it to end at the end of April. So I just pick there 30th of April. So it's, it's literally a spring, March and April offer. And then finally, then I want to put some information about this offer. I want some terms and conditions and so on. So if I click on here, you've got a lot more ability now to put some more information. So the offer details, I think you've got up to about 300 words um, that you can use. So I've already written this. Let's see if this will fit in here. Um, there you go. So I've put in here, um, again, I need to just check my spelling a little bit. So it's good that you've got a bit of a spell check um, to just pick up a few things on, which is well worth doing. There you go. I can't spell business to save my life. Um, infograph, infographics. And that's fine. Uh, visitors, analytics, infographics, today's. Okay, that's fine. So there you go. So that's that's my um, and that's my offer there. So this is kind of in some ways a little bit of the terms that uh, <clears throat> if you want an infographic for free, then up to 140 pounds, then that will come with any website that's over 750. So that's my kind of actual offer itself in detail. Now. I like to have voucher codes because on my website, so if I go to my website, you'll notice here that if I go to my contact page, I allow for the fact there's a coupon code. And the reason I do this is I've got several offers going. Um, sometimes I run promotions on various uh, uh, outlets and I like to know where it's coming from. And that will then tell me what the offer is as well. So they can, if it's applicable, put a coupon code in. So the coupon code that I'm going to be adding here is going to be info 140 and the reason is is it tells me then that it's the infographic and they get 140 pounds free and then I'll know the terms and I'll know that fits as well a uh, link to redeem offer well I could probably just put in this if I take my uh, contact page and that takes them through to my website as well but I hopefully then they'll see what else I do on my website terms and conditions well I could add my terms and conditions but there's nothing specifically um, that I've got about um, this offer so on this case I'm just going to publish it as it is so I can preview it by clicking that so there we go so before I put it live I've got a spring free infographic offer details are there this a lovely little kind of coupon that comes up if they want to redeem it, it takes them through to my contact page. And if, um, if I'm happy with that, I can publish it. If you look at this, these images, they've all got my logo on. They, um, they talk about infographics. They talk about web design. That's really useful to tell Google about what I do. Here, my headline at the top, web designer in Bournemouth, infographics. So what I'm doing here is, it, is it's kind of giving Google a lot of food to play with. It's, uh, it's a, a genuine offer, but at the same time, if you do this every week, every couple of weeks, it's really going to help Google to see you as an authority. This is going to help you go up the Google My Business rankings as well. So I'm going to publish that now. And just before uh, we go and before I finish here, so I've given quite a lot of things to, to consider. You'll notice that not only does this now um, show here, but you get this kind of um, roundabout or carousel of, of images that uh, that you can show um, your clients. They can see things there. You've got this uh, where they can redeem it as well. Here you see how valid it's valid for the two months. Um, so that's really useful to know as well. And um, and also just a couple of other little things. So where does that appear? So if I refresh this here, you'll see that <coughs> There you go. So it now appears down below is my next offer. And it's even got this kind of um, tag here as well. The fact it is an offer. So that kind of helps it stand out, um, which is really useful. And you can view the offer uh, and so on. So that appears there. Uh, you'll notice also within the maps, if I click on here and if someone finds me, um, I probably need to refresh this actually. So let's do that. So if someone's looking for a web designer. They'll then come across my website and um, so it may just be that it's under special offers. Let's see if it's there. No, so that may be a case that hasn't come up yet, or it may be a case of refreshing it. Maybe I've not refreshed it properly in my browser. Let's just see if we see it here. This is where it's also built within the website as well. So if you have your uh, website, 
um, then your posts will come up there you go and your offers will come up too so all this again is being uh, um, spidered by Google uh, the links they go through you've got this code here this is all kind of telling Google that I'm an authority in web design in my area. So hopefully this has been useful. I hope there's a there's a I think there's a real few gems here that most people don't understand. And uh, make sure you bookmark or well um, subscribe to this channel, um, and then hopefully you won't miss the next one I'm going to do, which will be looking at details of how you can improve on the other post types as well. So we've covered um, updates, we've covered offers, but we've still got events and products to look at too. So I look forward to seeing you then at the next video. Meanwhile, um, you'll notice these couple of videos here are going to be particularly useful for you because Google selected them for you.